¿Qué tal mis amigos? Les saluda a su amigo el viejillo WLA Y hoy nos encontramos aquí en esta gasolinería Que ayer fue saqueada a medianoche Ayer a estas horas aquí había un caos de gente Pero si nos damos cuenta hoy está pasando algo diferente Aquí estamos en la 21 Y la Arkansas I don't want, I don't want to hear none of that, oh well, we, there was this, nah, I pray that that man, man's up, takes care of business, because he's like to do this. Gather with him, uh, gather with him, and uh, pray that, pray for that, pray for those officers, and pray for officers in general, let's do it, take a couple minutes to do that. Espero que lo alcancen a leer ahí, a ver qué es lo que dice. Vamos a seguir viendo aquí quién está a favor, quién está en contra, porque parece que todas las marchas están divididas y cada quien protesta a su parecer. Y hay que respetar la decisión de cada quien. It is tonight, look. If you want to go through a protest, that's cool, go through a protest. Where, it may, where it's going to make a difference, where it's going to make a, you, you want to go talk, talk over there, you can. But don't come over here in our neighborhood, destroy our neighborhood. Man, our, our kids live here. You know what I'm saying? My, my cousins, they live right up the street. I got family members that live around here. My swagger lives down the street. I was raised in this neighborhood, man. What we look like inviting, inciting, and allowing somebody to come in and wreck our neighborhood. Look, I understand, man. I used to run around in these streets. I was gangbanging. I was lost. I was out there. I get it. I used to spray paint the walls, and I used to tear up this neighborhood. Now, let me tell you what happened, man. Jesus came into my life. He opened my eyes. He showed me that I was destroying my own people. Take a look around us right now, man. That's what happened over the last four days. Our people being destroyed. You know what I'm saying? The prophet Micah said that my people perish for lack of vision. If we don't know where we're going and we're just chasing, uh, we're just chasing a feeling, we're chasing an emotion, we're chasing after something that's empty. We're chasing after something that isn't going to lead anywhere. You know what I'm saying? It hurt my heart to see my people getting hit with tear gas. And for what? Look, man, I understand that I understand that that hurt me and it, and it upset me. But it doesn't make sense for us to invite or to allow that type of destruction to come into our neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? That type of thing is not gonna stop. It's gonna keep going. It's like cancer. You know what I'm saying? When we started. You know, I, I remember when there wasn't gangs in Wichita. Honestly, I, I mean, I remember it. And, and we started that. And we started running around and we started doing stuff. And then we turned our neighborhood from a playground into a war zone. You know, I know it's a war I, I moved away from the north side for about four or five years and I came back. And my homies were telling me, man, I don't even feel safe walking down the street. In our own neighborhood. In our own neighborhood. And look, I, I, I don't care what gang you, you claim, what, what affiliation, what set you claim. Look, man, we, we, we can talk about brown pride, we can talk about black pride, but who we killing, man? We killing, we killing each other. We killing ourselves. We're imploding. And it's time for a change, man. It's time for a change. You know what? I came out here, I got up this morning, I said enough is enough. Because this is our neighborhood, man. How are we gonna just sit by and let our neighborhood be destroyed? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's how you look at it, tearing up the picture.
Amigos, vas a con esta clase de música. Y aquí el otro amigo hablando de, de la hermandad, de estar en paz, de no violencia. Ahí no más para que vean cómo andamos, pues. He was here, and I had to call Zamama because, yeah, I came out here, but I was not expecting what happened when the shooting started, and to see the chaos of shots fired and all of us running, everybody screaming, little kids going everywhere. That just broke my heart. We, to see something like that, like we were in a third world country, no, no, and to, so I. This is awesome to see everybody here. That Kate News or somebody um, came and was asking me questions and. You know, they're asking, is this what, who we are? This is who we are, Amen. right here. This is who we are, right here. What you can see is not who we are. This is who we are. All right, all right, real quick. Uh, give, me, give me a, a, a quick minute of your attention, man. Uh, I'd like to call up a, a brother of mine who is out there making an impact week in, week out. They, they, they do a home machine, she's got a church on the street. Well, I love the police. Amen. Because if we didn't have the police, a lot of things would be worse. It'd be coaches every day out here. Right. Think about it. So you see the men in blue? Salute them. All cops aren't bad cops. Amen. Just like all human beings aren't bad human beings. So pray for these officers. They're putting their lives on the line every day. I don't care what color they are. Them are God's people also. Miss love to every last one of you right here. Buenas tardes, hoy nos encontramos ahora con otro tipo de, ¿qué será? Reunión, protesta o... Ah, no, no, no es ningún protesta. Nosotros vinimos aquí a, a orar, a dar una presencia aquí uh, para, para, este, para que haga cambio aquí en este barrio. Porque lo que hemos visto los últimos cuatro días uh, no es una uh, reflexión del de lo que nosotros que vivimos aquí en esta comunidad uh, queremos ver, que somos uh, la destrucción que, que hubo y que ha habido uh, pues a la mera verdad da coraje, da, da coraje uh, aquí nos criamos, aquí, aquí viven nuestras familias, aquí hay nuestros negocios y nosotros como, como personas que viven aquí en la comunidad necesitamos unirnos unirnos aquí para parar todo esto uh, Entendemos que todo eso fue causa de, fue causa de lo que pasó con, con el señor que murió por policía, pero no es razón para destruir nuestra propia comunidad. Y es por eso que nosotros estamos aquí, unidos como comunidad, para decir que ya no. Pues ustedes más que nada traen un, un mensaje de unidad, de paz, sí. para el vecindario más que nada, porque si nos damos cuenta ya... La gasolinera fue atacada ayer en la noche, a medianoche, para ser más exactos. Sí. Entonces, pues déjanos un mensaje para la comunidad. Lo puedes hacer en inglés, español, para que la gente que nos esté viendo nos entienda un poco mejor. Uh, my name is Benny. I'm with Hope for the Hood Ministries. Uh, I'm an ex-gang member. I used to run around in this neighborhood right here. And my message is that we would come together as a community, that we would, that we would grow in unity that we would uh, support one another, and that we as a community would reject any more of this destruction. It, it doesn't make sense as, as a community 
for us to destroy or allow others to come in and destroy and to cause divisions within us. Uh, so my prayer is that through the love of Jesus, that you would be unified. And that's it, man. God bless. Aquí en el norte, en el norte de Wichita, Kansas, más exactos aquí en Arkansas y la 21. Esta es la comunidad hispana, el barrio de los latinos. No digo mexicanos, porque aquí vive la, la familia latina. Y pues con esto me despido. Y este, pues un saludo acá de su amigo, el viejillo WLA. Y ahí estamos laborando para ustedes.